Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about tabs in File Explorer. I've done a video about this a while ago in which I showed you an app called Files that is a really cool app developed by some people. It is free of use and it is a really, really good app. This app received an update yesterday and this is what we're gonna talk about in this video. If you want to see more about the app and a full-on tutorial about the app, you're gonna have a link down below in the description to the original video. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you what is new in this new update that they've done to the app and how you can get it. First of all, they've done an official post on Twitter in which they said that they launched the version 2.1. They also left the link to the release notes where you can find all the new things added and of course the bug fixes that were applied and the new contributors that worked on the application. In the article down below, you're going to have two links. You're going to have both of these links, the first one and the second one. I've downloaded from the second one because by using the first one, maybe you could have an error and if you cannot install it from the first one just go and download from the second one and you will have this package.m6 bundle that you can use to install this app. They also announced that the store release is still in certification but should be available in a couple of days so this app will also be officially available in the Microsoft Store. So let's just install the app and for those of you who don't know we're gonna see how the app looks. Basically it is a very very nice redesigned file explorer from Windows 11 but with a whole bunch of other options and also tabs that you can use. So let me just show you how to install it. I've downloaded from the second link you can do that as well from the link in the article down below let's just double click on this file I'm gonna leave launch when ready selected and then I'm gonna click on install the installation process should be really really fast and then we're gonna see the app launch you're gonna see the really nice design and the file explorer tabs this is how the app looks as you can see it has a really nice design of course the dark mode but I'm not going to talk about it in depth as I've said you're gonna have the original video in the description down below in this video, we're going to talk about a few things that were changed and a few improvements that were applied to this app. Of course, for those of you who see this video first, let me just show you the tabs in File Explorer, which are really, really nice. Of course, have the rounded corners and the full-on Windows 11 experience, which is really, really good. So in this new version, the developers improved the experience a whole lot. They improved uh, every context menu. If you right-click on a file in this app, you're going to see that the context menu is really well put together you have all the options you need but more options than you would have in the normal file explorer and of course even more options if you're interested in this but you have the copy location of course the create folder with selection the create shortcut create a new video edit with photos and so on they also implemented the arm 64 support and they also improved the column layout which will now be really useful so basically you just click on a location and you can easily go into that location based on columns so that as you can see, this is really, really nice. And I think this is really, really useful and will help increase your productivity while using Windows 11. Of course, this feature is as an addition to the tabs that you can use. And uh, this is really, really nice in my opinion. I really, really like it. By clicking on the settings icon, you have a whole bunch of options that you can use regarding the appearance of the app, some general preferences, of course, multitasking, experimental, and of course, more info about the app. Another thing that I didn't mention in the original video is that that you can set files as the default file manager and this means that if you open this PC it will open with this application and also the recycle bin will also open with this application so let me show you how you can do that just go and open up the settings section in the right side go to experimental and you'll have here down below default file manager and if you turn on set files as the default file manager that basically this will modify some registries and then you can click on yes and now you will see that if you double click on this PC this will open up with files and files will be the new file manager this is also pliable with the recycle bin as you can see we are now in the recycle bin but even if we open recycle bin from the start menu we will also be redirected to files and I think this is a really nice way of using a better design file explorer in Windows 11. So as I've said, if you're interested in installing files and figuring out for yourself how it can help you be more productive, you're going to have
have links down below in the article where you can find all the information you need and also the packages that you need to install in order to have this set up. Personally, I use this and I find it very, very useful. The old file explorer from Windows 11 still needs a lot of work and hopefully Microsoft will implement tabs in the near future. But until then, we can use files. I haven't had any bugs or issues with it, so I strongly recommend you use it as your default file manager. And of course, you're gonna have this link down below in the description as well, where you can see all the changes and all the updates that were done to this 2.1 version. I'm sure that you'll like it and you'll see that these developers really work hard to provide a really good file explorer in Windows 11. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Don't forget that all the links are in the article down below in the description. I was Emmanuel from tech base. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.